the source we, what we call God, the creator consciousness. When you're tuned up to that, no, no, nothing else matters. You can create with your mind, you can create and because you're part of it, you know those, how to do it. You learn, that thing teaches you. When you hear about this mathematician that like, or Tesla, physicists and engineers that things came to their minds in, bring, in dreams. My older brother was a physicist, mathematician. He said that in dreams, formula came to him. No, it wasn't dreams. It was this deal. It is this deal. Sending, hey, I'll send you this and that. Your, your antenna, your brain, your brain is amazing. The single most amazing organ in our body is our brain. Because when you control all these electromagnetic signals and all these other eth ethereal uh, energies, what Tesla called a ether, the ether. Well, the ether is this, it's electromagnetic filaments that can create all kinds of stuff. Dr. Boyd Bushman was talking about something that stuck with me that he used two magnets, the most powerful magnet that you can find. He created two identical and screw into each other. <clears throat> and he used it to prove because they could cancel gravity for like four milliseconds. Something unheard of. And he had the paper to prove it. And he was talking about that the gravity is part of his causing magnetism. And that's how he, so he was really onto the right deal. And that's why Tesla was already tuned up to it. And some people had the right stuff, some other, something is, 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 Something is not right right now because we ourselves have been degrading our own organs, especially the brain, and that affects everything else, like the, the morality and all of that. It's all tied up in the same. That cylinder that I see the hand holding is the cylinder that contains all the laws that are that, that makes all this deal physical, chemical, moral law, spiritual laws, consciousness, and all of that is tied up in one thing, and this is the deal. You don't hear people talking about this kind of stuff in this level because they, or either they go one way or the other, but they don't see the whole panoramic view of the whole thing. And nevertheless, the visual is vis vis visible. You can see it, you're looking at it. It's just a people, oh, now that's a camera. That, no, that ain't the freaking camera. There's no pixels there. These are all two things that are in the shape of hands, and that's that. You can argue all you want, but these are no pixels. There's no such a thing as pixel, two -way pixels in the shape of that, what I'm talking about, three-dimensional. Like I said, you look at the three part, look at the three, and what you see is a translucent shape with the same, the same exact, see, you can see it. It's very visible, it's just that we, we just can people don't see it, they just cannot see it. They're obtuse, their mind and eyes are in a pipe. They cannot expand beyond, above and beyond the deal. For some freaking reason, I can see it. And I've been seeing it for a while, but it's just I couldn't make up what the ge that geometry was because it's three-dimensional. It's just that image from the moon that I finally caught a glimpse of it. No directly, but with the 
peripheral view of my eyes with my sight. I saw something like hands. I said, what? Hands? Really? Could that? Then I start look. Oh my God. Sure enough. This image right here is what got me digging into that. This image. I couldn't figure out what that was until finally walking towards the, 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 the monitor. I saw that for some reason I was able to see that these were fingers. Sure enough, it is. They are. Look right here. Then you see the fingernail right there. Then you see the other finger, the longer one. You see the same thing. And he had several fingernails because he's, he's a a fractal it repeats and it goes in different directions and then you see it again right here this the third finger then the fourth but it keeps repeating then it comes this way another one and another one you can see the outlines on the terrain And like I say, it blends one with the other. It's so so perfect. It's just like I said, no, only a guy could create something like that. Simple and complex at the same time. There is no other, no other. You cannot look for aliens or you all you want, but this is what what moves everything. Another thing, you can see the, the geometry is so perfect. You can see the alignment of everything in, in one direction. Then you see it in another direction like that. Then you see it's vertical too. It's a soft, shallowy type. I mean, when you really start studying this image with, with a open... I don't know what kind of side you have to have, but I can see exactly how this, yeah, I can see how this deal right here, this is like a, some kind of a baton or, so then I find out that these are fingers and they come both ways to the left and to the right. I mean, it's so convoluted when you start adding and adding layers or whatever those electromagnetic vehicles or objects do. It's so in, incredibly insane, perfect that, I mean, the, the amount of energy used calibrated the right way to create colorful things. Each color, each texture, each Oh my God, it's so unsurmountable, the, the number of things there that you have to tip your hat to the designer, the God that designed this deal. That's gotta be a God type thing. And these white deals, these are like buttercup flowers. They look exactly like buttercup flowers from far away, but when you get closer, then you see that they are the same thing, it's just made in that, in that rounded shape. Right there. It look like a buttercup flower. And this, oh, that's an antenna dish. No, it's not any freaking antenna anything. It doesn't need none of that because he's already feeling it through the translucent shit. There is a, a video of an object passing through the moon and you can see where he enters the that translucent deal and he is like he's punching through a, a, a pudding. And then when he comes out the other side, he drags 
It's like it came out of that, or that whatever, the moon, the surrounding deal around the moon. I don't know how to explain it. I can show uh, the video. But it's, it's crazy, man. But it's because people don't really think deeply. I meditate a lot. I'm supposed to do it three times a day for five minutes. And the longer you stay in the alpha level, the brain works in different waves. Alpha, beta, delta, and theta. But alpha is when between the dreams and the awake moment. If you are able to stay in that zone long enough, you will perceive things because that's what this deal is tuned into. This hyper uh, dimensional uh, deal is tuned up to that in one part. There are other ways to use the other uh, waves, the consciousness waves, but it's all tied up in the same thing. The only thing that is different is our soul. What makes our soul is, I don't know what material would that be. It's not electromagnetic. It's something different. I heard that the moon is a, is a repository for souls. I don't know. I cannot testify to none of that. I heard recording from the Apollo, and that sounds some crazy, scary-looking sounding shit. I mean, it is weird, but uh, I don't know about that. I don't know if, if it was a trick play on them or I don't know. Now, I can tell you that they, they are all these enormous hands, form faces and form all kinds of shit. It's like that moon is, is, and you can see sceneries there. You can see entities gathering around doing something. This deal down here, when you study the image, you realize that this is like the wheel of a motorcycle type thing. And you can see the second wheel back here. It's like some kind of vehicle. And there is an entity mounted on it. But when you look at the entity, it's not really an entity. It's the same thing is is yeah, like a split helmet, but it's really because it's a hand deal made out of hands with hands, and in fact the vehicle itself is is a hand, but it, it also has this. It's it's a weird deal to explain. This is difficult, very difficult. All I can tell you is that this image has so much stuff in it that. Every time I look at it and I really study it, just, I see more things. I mean, there are so many things there. Sceneries. It's like this moon surface has been used to carve scenery, who knows, from this planet and from other, because you can see human type things, you can see animals, you can see all kinds of stuff. And the moon is your worst nightmare. That guy show all this stuff, but he didn't see what I'm seeing. Because he only saw one dimensional part, one plane part. All this crocodile thing, but he didn't look into each part of the crocodile deal. He didn't see the other. And when he got to the part where he saw the surface extending to space, and it was the same, and he didn't elaborate, he didn't want to get into that. For some reason, he couldn't comprehend or, or deal with it. Well, I have, and then I look into other pictures from other dudes that have done the Kikaz, RBA, Simon uh, channel has this the Phobos and the other, and they show the exact same thing in space next to the moon, all these structures. And you can see where NASA deleted the, the, the right over the surface. They, they cut it all off. 
direct cut out and 